What's going on guys, Way From Revolution here, here with the legend Bernhard Lederer. How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you so much for, for being here with us. So I remember when I walked into Geneva Watch Days, um, I took a left and I ended up inside of the Salon of Bernard and his wife Iwa. And I sat down and he put what we're gonna see, well, which has now become the Geneva Grand Prix winning uh, central impulse chronometer in front of me. And I turned it over, I looked at the movement and I, I, you know, I was genuinely blown away. It was from an architectural and horological perspective, one of the most stunning things I've ever seen. You know, um, it's majesty in terms of its symmetry, the two gear trains, the two 10 second Le uh feeding energy into the central impulse uh, escapement. It's just absolutely stunning. So I wanna know the story about this watch. Bernard, will you tell me the story? Yes, the story of that watch, uh, she began quite a long time ago and I will hand you over the watch. Um, it is the story of uh, Sir George Daniels and me. And that story started somewhere when I was 20 years old boy, when I learned that George Daniels wrote the book called Watchmaking. Right. And uh, in that book, George Daniels already describes this escapement as by his point of view, maybe the best move, uh, best escapement, what he can imagine. Right. And he built it in several of his pocket watches, the most famous, uh, the Space Traveler 1 and Space Traveler 2. Right. Those are f uh, over $4 million sellers uh, in the auction right. uh, where they had been sold. Yes. So very famous watches. I think we know one of the guys, the guy that has one of those as well. I, I know yeah. one guy who has one, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> okay. And, um, yeah, uh, I know that George always uh, dreamt to have his escapement fitting to a wristwatch, uh, but um, he had uh, technical problems um, and there are technical difficulties to overcome if you want to transform an escapement what had been designed for a pocket watch right. on two hertz. You have to lift it up to a minimum three hertz right. and you have also to make it in a different way, shock resistant. A pocket watch you wear on your body, a wrist watch on the wrist as the name tells and there it's exposed to so extreme movements that you, you really have to re-engineer, redesign the whole construction. And this is what, what I did. <coughs> and uh, we have now as a result uh, extremely uh, reliable double chronometer escapement that ever my wife she loves to, to tell it's the first marine chronometer what you can wear on your wrist she put it very perfectly and for you what were the greatest challenges in terms of realizing this movement the greatest challenge uh, was to find a solution to overcome the problem of low um, amplitudes on the balance. This is the major problem of all chronometer escapements. And um, there you have a risk that the, the impulse giving tools is overrunning the mm. impulse taking palette. Right. And um, there I had an idea to put an additional um, impulse surface, what will at a low amplitude come into force and help um, the escapement to by ge geometrical details to be always in the good position. So there is no by chance, there is no let's hope it will. No? It is by its geometrical details, there is no way anymore to over uh, jump uh, the, the impulse palette on the balance. Brilliant. And therefore it became so uh, reliable that we even tested it with a downhill razor. No. So you can imagine when he makes <laughs> <laughs> going downhill. Really? That's incredible. And and then of course we, we did not make a sports watch. Please, yeah, we, we made an extreme <laughs> example. That's what <laughs> we made an extreme test. Yeah. And I, I disadvise because it is a mechanic watch. It is a very delicate and wonderful a sapphire crystal case and 
if if it if we want to make a sports watch, we will redesign everything, not the movement, but uh, uh, casing, sapphire crystals, etc., etc. Yes. But uh, for me, it was important because I, it's my name yes. on it, yes. and I have to go extreme to be sure that for for daily use uh, all is fine and never the watch will fail. One one of the reasons is also there. We are so sure, so proud of what we did. We tested it so to the to the ground that we give a warranty of three years. Right. If you send back the watch after three years to a service what is included in the price, it is a free of charge service, we will again give you three other year more warranty. So wow. you have a total of six years warranty under the condition that after three years we get back the watch. That's incredible. Yeah, okay, so, I, and this is obviously an extreme example, and please do not do this now, but he almost gave me a heart attack when I went to go visit him in his atelier, because so I was like, oh, is it really shock resistant? And he took the watch and he threw it in the air and, and for me to catch. And I'm not a great athlete by any means, but I was like, if I have to catch anything in my life, I have to catch this watch now. <laughs> yeah. But I guess, I mean, why don't you guys look at this architecture? It is absolutely stunning, you know? I mean, it's one thing to create something that's technically brilliant, but it's also the tech, the technique also is so beautifully executed. Look at the two barrels here, look at the two gear trains, and the whole skeletonization of this movement, of course, where you can see everything. And then these two remontois de galides, which are rearmed every 10 seconds, correct? And yes. they feed the energy so that it's consistent, regardless of the torque of the mainsprings, to these t two tiny escapement wheels, which you can see on either side, which are taking turns, impulsing the, the escapement, uh, the central impulse escapement, which is then feeding power to this beautiful balance wheel here. I mean, it's absolutely stunning to behold. Probably one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful movement I, I can think of in recent memory. Bernard, tell me about the design of the Remontoirs and why are they necessary? The remontoirs, uh, they are the guarantee that the escapement will always have the same energy. Right. It is, uh, Eva made a very nice example. She says, just let's imagine you are now uh, the Queen of England. Yes. Yeah? Do you feel well as a Queen of England? I feel great. <laughs> I mean, and why not? She allows always five visitors at once ah. to come to an audience. Right. Regardless if in front of the door you have one million people waiting right. or only 100, she never will get any information about that. She always has five visitors in front of her. If they go out, the next five come in. And like those guardians on the door, those remontoirs, they care that the escape wheel has always the same quantity of energy at disposal. These are these wheels here. And this makes the watch very particular. You may know that uh, a watch uh, what is certified with a COSC certificate yes. only tells you that the watch after 24 hours right. has the same time like 24 hours before. Right. But what the watch made in between the certification of COSC does not tell you. Yes. And I, I did not like that idea so much that in between I don't know if I have the right time or correct, not. Correct. And therefore those remontoirs, they are the most perfect solution. Yes. As they are the garant that you always have the same energy, so you always have the sta same and stable accuracy of your movement. Right. So if I wind it up at, at 7 in the morning, I know that at 10, I know that at 2 p.m., I know that at midnight, through the whole power reserve, and here we have a power reserve of 42 hours. Right. Uh, that's what we indicate. The reality is quite longer, but uh, we indicate 42 hours. So you, you, you have a very lovely two days uh, power reserve. And from the first minute it starts to make tick tac until the end, you know exactly my watch is showing the right time. Got it. That's amazing, and you know, I love this about Bernard is that when he does something, he wants to do it with utter and total integrity and authenticity. Um, tell me why 10 second remontoirs as opposed to one second remontoirs with any speed. <coughs> Alors, there uh, is a very famous watchmaker uh, called... Uh, Derek Pratt. Derek Pratt, thank you. I'm, I'm not good with names. No, no. Uh, he made a lovely watch 
with uh, an uh, remontoir d'égalité on the escape wheel. Right. He did that for the reason of beauty. Mm -hmm. He made a two and a half hertz right. frequency because then you have a real jumping one, one second sender hand. Right. He was clear aware that putting a remontoir on the escape wheel is something what the escape wheel will not like so much. Neither the balance. Because you have every second, you have an acceleration mm -hmm. of this arm of 120 degrees. Right. And he is rewinding. Mm -hmm. First, he rewinds 120 degrees, what mm -hmm. is enormous difference than in, in the power what you uh, uh, make at disposal. And the stopping of this arm after 120 degrees, this is really a, a bind like that. Yes. Yeah? And all this gives vibration, gives disturbing, and therefore that is completely not advised. We searched uh, for a place to be not far away from the balance because you want to be as close as possible. More close than escape wheel, not possible and disadvised. Right. We could go to the second wheel, <clears throat> but then still you directly give the, all the, 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 the vibrations to the pinion of the escape wheel. Yes. So we decided to go to the, to the third wheel. The third wheel, yeah. And there we made the remontoir, what makes uh, around, it's uh, uh, not clear number, it is six point something, so it's nearly seven degrees it makes the rewinding of this little spring mm -hmm. and if you rewind a spring what is quite very long and makes uh, six or seven spears mm -hmm. and, and you turn it seven degrees that is nearly direction nothing yes it's a very little yeah. change in the energy right yeah contrary when you make 120 degrees you have a big difference in the energy what what you have available seven degrees nearly nothing so we have a very flat line of uh, uh, changing in energy every 10 seconds we have lifting up energy then it goes down a little bit after 10 seconds lifted up again uh, going down a little bit lifted up and this gives a very clear and only one direction line and that guarantees for the escape wheel to be well served i love it Bernard, it was a pleasure spending time with you. Thank you so much for explaining the watch to us. We have a prize for you, which we will now present. So I'd like to present you the Technical Breakthrough Award for 2021 for the Central Impulse Chronometer. Bernard, this watch is amazing. You are the man. Thank you so much. Here you go. <clears throat> Here we go. Thank you. A pleasure. Cheers, guys. Take care.